Now moving on to some prominent Bible characters, let's look at John the Baptist. Because he wore rough garments in the wilderness, he's usually shown clothed in a skin. He generally carries a sort of reed, sometimes with another across it forming a cross. You will remember the question, what came he out to see, a reed shaken in the wind? Possibly that's the reason that the reed of Cain has formed his staff. He pointed to Christ, behold the Lamb of God. Because the Catholic Church teaches that baptism is by pouring of water on the head, he's sometimes represented as holding a clamshell, which he is supposed to have used like a ladle or cup, dipping out the water with it and pouring it on the head of our Lord. Because the Lord said to Peter, Whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven, he is shown with two keys, one representing heaven and the other hell. Many times an apostle is identified by the instrument of his martyrdom. St. Paul, who was beheaded, is shown with a sword. Stephen, stoned to death and the first Christian martyr, is accompanied by stones shown sometimes in his hands, caught up in his garments, or sometimes piled on his head. He's nearly always dressed in a deacon's vestments, though of course such vestments did not exist in biblical times. Because the apostle Andrew is supposed to have been executed on an X-shaped cross, that is his symbol or attribute. If you look for the symbol, you can generally tell what saint is represented. The only problem is that sometimes two or more saints have the same attribute. Then you must distinguish by something else in the painting or make a guess. Your guess may be as good as somebody else's. James called St. James the Greater to differentiate him from the other apostle with the name of James, was the author of the epistle of James and the brother of our Lord Jesus Christ. He was slain by Herod, the first of the apostles to die a martyr's death. The body is supposed to have been taken to Spain and buried there. In Spain, he's known as Santiago, which means Saint Iago, or in Spanish, Saint James. In art, he is generally shown as a pilgrim. In this attractive painting by Pompeo Bettoni, he has the staff and a book, since he was the author of a book in the scriptures.